Hi, my name is Hai Yan Zhan. I'm the project manager for replacement of West Ferry Road Bridges and Culverts. The two West Ferry Road Bridges we replaced was built in 1920. Both bridges were in very poor condition with load restrictions. Before the replacement, our fire and rescue trucks could not cross the bridge safely. During the design phase, we faced many challenges. There was a private pond on one side of the road and a historic property on the other side of the road. And there were utility poles and overhead lines that were too close to the bridges and has to be relocated before construction. We scheduled the construction during the summer months to avoid disruption of school bus schedule. To minimize the disruption to the community, we used accelerated bridge construction techniques to reduce the construction time from a standard 12 months to only two and a half months. Closing West Ferry Road to traffic and provide a temporary detour to the two bridges reduced the time and effort for the construction of the two bridges. Closing the road was also safer for construction workers and our inspectors. Instead of building the bridges at West Ferry Road, the bridges were fabricated at a concrete fabrication site. Then they were transported to West Ferry Road where they were quickly assembled. We construct the two bridges during one summer by one contractor, and we were successful in completing the project ahead of the two and a half month schedule and on budget. I am Joe Long, a resident of Montgomery County, Maryland. Montgomery County planned to replace the bridge out on White's Ferry Road and at the same time replace uh, this bridge on the culvert uh, on the same stream bed. About two to three times per year, water flowed over our driveway and up to the level of the road out on White's Ferry Road. There's a lot of families that live up the road and during the uh, bridge construction, it was realized that if the roads were closed during the school year, it would be a hardship on families and students. So therefore, Montgomery County decided to start construction in the summer and end it before school started the next year. We went through several meetings until we came upon a uh, specific solution that was good for everybody. 